So I recently learned about a problem with some ported barrels. These ports can send bullet fragments through the port, sometimes even hitting the shooter in the face. I made a full video on that right here, but then I got buku comments saying how revolvers can do the same thing through the cylinder gap, which could obviously be dangerous for anyone standing next to you. Here I have three revolvers and I'm gonna test that theory. Just like the other video, I'm gonna put a sheet of paper right in the danger zone. I have these three revolvers and I'm gonna see if I can get any fragments to go through the cylinder gap and through the paper. This is my North American Arms mini revolver shooting Hornady 30 grain VMAX. This is a jacketed bullet. Nothing, absolutely nothing done to the paper. Now let's try my Ruger LCR, and we're shooting Black Hills Ammo 158 grain 38 Special, and it's a lead projectile. I'm gonna shoot five rounds. And little specks of gunpowder, that's about it. Nothing passed through. I'm gonna stick with the Ruger LCR. I'm gonna switch to these wide cutter rounds, which I think have the best chance of actually making something fly through that port because of the way these bullets are shaped. Look at how crazy these look. I'll take five more shots. The results show absolutely nothing making it through this paper. My beautiful Ruger GP100, I should say. I'm gonna try these wide cutter rounds again. I'm gonna shoot five again, even though this holds seven. So once again, I don't even see any additional unburnt burnt gun powder. <laughs> and lastly, barrel load 357 mag, another completely laid around. It's our last chance to get through this paper. I don't see anything that actually made it through. Once again, maybe unburnt gun powder. So I'll say I couldn't get it to happen. Have you ever heard of someone getting injured from this?